So I'm gonna show y'all how I style and put on my finger comber unit from fingercomber.com. The first thing I'm doing is of course sealing my hair with some Jamaican black castor oil. I love that stuff. And then I'm just gonna put my wig cap on, you know, so everything can be secure and safe. And pretty much all I'm doing is just I put the wig on and I'm just placing bobby pins. I put bobby pins in the middle to pin it down so it could be secure and have an even silhouette. And then I'm just placing bobby pins around the format of my head. I'm not really placing them on the back because y'all know I don't have any hair back there to grip it. So I'm just going to place the bobby pins on and then I'm going to take the twist out and style to my liking. It's pretty self explanatory It's pretty self-explanatory. I did leave some of my own hair out in the front so it can blend. But all I'm doing is taking the twist out like a regular twist out. And then I just put a little um, pomade in the front. My curls pomade in the front just so it just leaks it down a little bit. But it's pretty self-explanatory. So I hope y'all like it. Fingercomber.com. I received it. No, I'm only thinking out. I received it about a week ago, and I didn't like it at first because I didn't like the twist. When I put the twist on, like, cause it comes twisted. So when I just put it on with the twist, I didn't like how that looked. Cause it looked like a Rasta, and that really, I mean, that really wasn't the look I was going for. But this is. So those twists you saw the first time, those weren't the twists that came in. Those were twists that I put in. It's a chunky twist. So I'm not really sure how I feel about the chunky twist. It's just so big. But this will definitely be, you know, my go-to style. Like when my hair looks a mess or when I'm going out. Because it's really cute. It's just a lot of hair. But it came... About a week ago, it took about two weeks for me to receive it. It came with like $86 with shipping and all that stuff. The only thing I'm concerned about is it being a synthetic wig. I don't know how long it's going to last. And I would hate for it to last like only three months. And I spent, you know, almost $100 for it. Because that's a lot of money for some synthetic hair. But at the same time, you know, you can wash it. And you don't care for it. You just wash it gently with a little bit of shampoo, a lot of water. So... This is it. It's cool. I just am not used to see myself with hair. It's cool. So I will leave all the information in the description box on how you can purchase this wig. And tell me what y'all think. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Make sure y'all subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Just here's the back. Let me show you all the size too.